good morning it is vlogmas day 15 <laughs> it's currently 1 30 in the morning um my watch isn't even working because my battery's died um i've just been out to pick Eddie up from his christmas party and had a whole gang of drunken people in my car i think i had three in the back and uh, one in the front so yeah dropped them off at a hotel and obviously brought eddie home so i am shattered so i'm gonna go to bed at this point but i thought i'd say hello because it is technically the 15th and um, I'm putting a later alarm on for the morning because I need to get some sleep. They kept inviting me in for a drink and I was like, no, because I've still got to work tomorrow for a different employer who won't understand when I don't log on in the morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and go to bed and um, try and get some sleep, I think. And I shall see you in a few hours. Morning. It is um, 20 to 11 and it is Vlogmas Day 15. I already did an intro for this video at like one o'clock this morning, half one this morning. But I thought I'd show you that I am in the land of the living. I've been logged on since nine o'clock and working away. I will hopefully have some crochet to show you later. I did a little bit last night until I got too tired. And then I did a little tiny bit this morning. So hopefully I'll have some to show you later. Not much happening really. I'm just working at the moment, just trying to get through everything. But yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, I think. I think I might have one of my tea bags out of my calendar at this point. So where is my calendar? It is here. So it's day 15, so it's a nice little green one. Let's see what's in there. So today, it says, I'm a bit confused. It says, mate, you gonna focus? Mate cocoa and coconut so i don't quite know what that is it says it's um boiling water three to five minutes so i'll have to let you know um i didn't really enjoy the one last night that center green tea it was all right it just it just didn't do anything for me really but i, I did drink it but yeah so that's what i'm having now i'm gonna have one of these and i'll have to let you know what it is i don't, I don't know what mate is i don't know what that means mate 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 i don't know no clue never heard of it but I'm prepared to give it a go. I've not had anything to eat yet. I am starting to get hungry though. So I'm going to try and hold out till lunchtime. Obviously it's mad dad's days in my house. But I shall, um, I shall catch you in a bit. Is it advent calendar time? Do you want to do advent calendars? Yeah? Come on then. So. Here is the advent calendar. And it is day 15. Let me just see if I can switch my flash off because it's blinding horribly enough. Hopefully that's not too dark. Right, day 15 is here. Just let me open that. Spot the ones that I've opened, eh? <laughs> Right, today it is, what shape have we got today? Oh, it's a love heart, Luna. Luna, are you ignoring me? Ignore all my little knitting stuff over there on the floor. Are you ignoring me? Do you want your treat? What is it? What is it? I think you should be in mind because Eddie's popped out to the chemist to get my prescription, but as I'm trying to work, I thought I'd give her a rampant calendar to see if it stops her barking. See what she does when I give it to her. See if she's any more amenable. Can't get out the wrapper, Luna. There it is. Do you want it? Sit. Down. Good girl. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Good girl. I think I'm getting ready for another cup of tea. I might go and ask the installer if he wants one. Like I say, I just popped out to the chemist for me. So it's actually turned a bit nippy. I think our heating must be turned down. I'm gonna uh, go and make a drink, I think. Like I say, I just popped to the chemist for me. I'm just waiting on um, the FD at my work, signing off the backs of the payroll. And I really wanted to get it done today so I can actually relax and know everyone's getting paid. <laughs> but she hasn't signed it yet. I'm watching YouTube whilst I'm working, by the way, today. Being a little bit naughty.
face. You expect, what are you uh, recording my food for? He's already long gone. There you go. Alright, Luna. No, you feel my wrap again? I am going to feel your soggy wrap. Just because mine looks better than yours. I can't reach you and Eddie's is all gone. Good job you can't reach mine. Here's today's kitchen update. So we've got a lot of progress today. So he's put the front of the cupboards on. The hob is now working. The extractor fan isn't quite fitted, but it is working. Um, he's left the plastic coating on these because we're thinking of perhaps painting. And um, obviously he's tested it all out. The washing machine's working. The dishwasher is running, that's working. The sink is all working. That's his cup we've left in there. Um, so that's great. And then over here, I don't. I think the fridge and the freezer are plumbed in, or certainly the fridge is. We're just waiting for the cooker to become and um, the electrician to sort that out. So yeah, not far from there. The breakfast bar still needs putting in, and the obviously the fancy radiator. But we're getting there. Definitely getting there. Obviously, he's going to sort these sockets out. The socket for the hob is in the cupboard down here now, because apparently that's the thing they mainly do. So that I think is this one, and the others are going to just have to be blanked off. We're going to have a splash back on here anyway, so. That should cover that. So we've just been to Junction 28. Managed to get Tom some trainers for either Christmas or his birthday. Um, tried to get him some jeans, but because he does all this weight lifting, his thighs are too big, so I've got to try and find some that will fit. Because he's still slim, but obviously got big thighs. So that's the next challenge. Um, what else do we get? Eddie got himself a pair of trainers because it was a pair for £27 in Adidas. Um, and that was it, really. We had the Greek Giros. Which wasn't as nice as it was at Canuck, but it was 50% off, so it's a bonus. Um, I'm just really tired now. I've got to do a minutes pie review, but more than anything, I just fancy a cup of tea and perhaps a can of pop. Because I'm really, really thirsty, so I'm going to go and get that. And um, I'll speak to you in a bit. Decided I'm going to have one of my um, teas out of my calendar. So I think I'm going to go for day number three, just because it looks like a, a nice little package. <laughs> and I shall see what it is. Hoping it's something that's going to give me a bit of energy. Oh, it's the same one I had earlier. It's the mate cocoa and coconut. I might save that one for another day because I've already had that one today and um, it was all right. But I was hoping for something a bit fruitier. Let's try number one. I kind of expected these to give away what's inside, but. That looked like it was going to be a fruity one, and it isn't, so. This one is, oh, dropped it on the floor. This one is a Ceylon black, black tea. So not a fruity one. I don't think, there's probably no fruity ones in here. But I'm going to have that, and um, I need to sit and relax. I'm probably going to do my mince pie review in a minute, so. I'll get my tea ready so I can have that with my mince pie. It's time for mince pie review. So today's mince pie of choice. We're back at Tesco and these are the finest, rich and decadent six all butter pastry mince pies with French brandy and port. And these come in at 239 calories, I think. So we're going to give those a try. I'll let Eddie do his review because I know he's itching to do it because he missed yesterday. Hang on a second. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to Stop dig it up. up. No. Uh, nice deepness to the mince pie. Better than the other ones that were like half the size. Nice star in front, covers the whole of the surface. Let's have a taste. That's good. Although there seems to be about a centimetre of mince missing between the top and the bottom. What do you mean between the lid and the filling? And, and the filling, yeah. That's that's disappointing. But other than that, it's quite nice. What's your rating out of ten? I'd say about seven half to eight. About. I'd say about an eight. I'd give it an eight. So how's it compared to the Sainsbury's one from yesterday? You did have one when you came back, didn't you? Or you had one today? The Sainsbury's one was a really nice one. Yeah. It doesn't... Yeah, the Sainsbury's one beat that one. Beats this one? Beats this one. Right, okay, let me see what I think then. So I'm not going to do all of the fancy talking about it since he's done it all. 
or pretending to do it. So you have to get in and try it. No meat to meat in the first bite. Just pastry. Maybe, yeah. Not a patch on Sainsbury's or M&S. It's better than some of the others we've had, but I, I don't make that. The mincemeat is that sort where it's all like mushed together rather than it being actual identifiable fruit. So I'm not so keen on that. Mm. And the mincemeat is actually a little bit sour. I said the pastry is over sweet and the mincemeat is a little bit sour. I, I, that's not my favourite. There's not a patch on the um, the Sainsbury's, whatever they call their finest range. That one yesterday was really, really nice. So, yeah, I would probably give that probably a 7 out of 10, maybe. 6 out of 10. I think maybe warm with cream would be nicer. It's not as bad as those dreadful ones I had from Aldi the other day, but they are, um, they're all right. Not my favourite. So that's today's review out of the way. I haven't got any for tomorrow yet, so I've got to think about where I haven't been yet. I haven't been to Lidl and I haven't been to Asda. So I need to go and investigate and see where else I can find something. Iceland is probably on the list. Thanks for watching the Mitz Pie Review. I'll be back in a bit. Are you stealing Desmond's pie? Are you stealing Desmond's pie? Genius new AI tool, which is perfect. Are you? I continue to throw. What are you doing? Oh dear. Someone's angry they didn't take part in its pie review today. By the way, um, that Madonna's bag is Eddie's, not mine. I didn't have anything. No? Some Someone's getting way into this mince pie review business, aren't they? Uh, woof. Luna, 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 your food's over there. Go and get your food. No, go and get your food. She came to Junction 28 with us and she got lots of force off people and then she ignored every dog going. Hey, what are you doing? Evening, I'm just going to quickly show you my elf. I'm still not sure about this elf, but I'll show you the progress I've made so far. So I'm assuming the legs are a little bit like that shape because it's supposed to sit down. I don't know which way around it goes. But I think it's supposed to sit down. And then look like it's got a top over the top because you have to do all this front and back of the loop crochet. So I think it's supposed to sit like that. But I know when it's finished better. But I've almost finished the body. I have to stuff the body and then I'm going to be onto the head. So not far off there with the with the elf. I don't know if it's that way or that way. Oh, I think it's that way actually. But I'll show you when it's done. I do find these pit these patterns are a little bit weird. So these are free Rikarumi patterns. Um, from my local craft shop and I bought it with the with the wool well I didn't buy it I, I got it printed out there when I bought the wool because they advertised it on their Facebook page I have to say I don't think they're the easiest patterns to follow they're easy to follow but I don't, I, I don't necessarily enjoy the way you crochet with them they do quite a bit of the back loop only and front loop only but in a real difficult way so around where the bottom is in order to get the, the gap between the legs and stuff i don't know i just i just wasn't really enjoying it if i'm honest i want to finish this off because i really want to get it done my sister's finished the christmas doll pattern as well which looks lovely but i just don't think i have time to do a project like that at the moment and tomorrow i really want to sew that advent calendar and i know it's too late for it to use it for this year but i want to get it sewed ready for next year just as a bit of a project and then i've also got some embroidery i want to do so i might actually do a bit of embroidery rather than crochet but there are a few other patterns I have in mind. I really want to do Luna a new jumper because 
we took her out to Junction 28 and put one of her old jumpers on and they just look all very tatty and don't really fit properly. So I really want to have a go at doing her a jumper. Now I can't decide whether to do a granny square one because I've seen quite a few on TikTok and Instagram or whether to actually knit one. So I'm going to have a look and see what patterns I can find. So yeah, that's um, that's my update there. I'm really tired and I, really, I want to get this video uploaded. So I'm going to end it here and hopefully I'll be able to show you some more stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow, somebody's supposed to be looking, coming to look at Ewan's bike. And depending on when they come, there is a Christmas market at Matlock that I'd really like to go to. But I don't know if the time is going to work out, which would be a real shame because I think it would be really nice. So we're going to have to do that. I also need to go through all my Christmas presents to make sure that I'm almost there. It's mainly my kids because we've got Tom's birthday and Chloe's birthday around Christmas as well. We've got Eddie's brother's birthday and his dad's birthday and his other brother's birthday and my nephew's birthday. So we've got lots of birthdays to sort out. So I want to do that. I made myself uh, oval teen lights because I just want something that's not going to keep me awake and going to try and help me go to sleep. So yeah, I've got this little one sitting with me, finally. Just looking very tired and sleepy. Eddie's upstairs playing on his game, so I'm just sitting down watching some YouTube and doing crochet on my own. So I'm going to end the video here and hopefully edit it and upload it today. And I shall see you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. So tomorrow will be 16, which I can't believe how fast it's going and how quickly Christmas is coming. <laughs> it's actually really scary. So I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon. Bye.